Hi guys, this is Small Couponer. This is my CVS haul for the week of July 12th to July 18th, 2020. And these are all digital deals. So let's get started. So first things first, what are CRTs, app-only coupons, mystery offers, or instant coupons? Make sure to watch the first part of my first video, link in the description box below. So this is a good video if you are a beginner. And if you want to check to see if your CRTs, app-only coupons, and manufactured digitals attach to a product, make sure to watch the second video, link in the description box below. I know on Sunday, some people have problems with their app and on the website, um, because the coupons weren't showing up and it is sort of fixed because some of the coupons are showing up on some of the items on my account since Monday. So make sure to check to see if it's showing up as of now. And I did have issues with the coupon center because it also printed some out and then it didn't print the rest of my coupons out. So luckily the instant coupons and the mystery offer, they, they print it, but they printed half of the half of my CRTs and then the other half is said to print it on my account, but it did not print. So maybe it ran out of paper again. I don't know. So I tried to go home and print it on my personal computer. So I went on Sunday um, because I was coming home from a family member's home. So I went on Sunday because I wanted the freebie, but then I had all of these issues. So I just left the store. So I had issues with my personal printer at home. Epson printers suck. I mean, I, they have like a chip in their, in their cartridges so that they track like the ink levels. So you need all the levels full in order for it to print. If one of them is empty, it will not print. And all I needed was the black ink and I had black ink, but I, I couldn't print it because I needed all of the printers, uh, all of the inks full. And I've been spending a lot of money on their cartridges. Are they, uh, I don't know. I just don't like Epson anymore. So once I use all of my ink, I will not, I will try to like sell this printer and get like a better printer because I think Epson is scamming me and they're like, they're taking money out of my pocket from their cartridges. And yeah, I, it was, it was a mess. So I just did some of the deals without CRTs and because some of them you don't really need CRTs and it'll still be free. So it's still a good haul in my opinion, even though I didn't get to use all of my coupons. So this was my first transaction, transaction one. So I got the freebie, which is the heat patch, and I could not find the Go Emblem popcorn. So I did go on Monday. So I'm posting this today because I got home really late on Monday night. So it was after work and it was just, I was just tired. So that's why I'm posting it early in the morning. So I did get my freebie. I could not find the Gold Emblem popcorn. It was all out of stock. So I did not get that item. And I got the three Pantene and the Aussie. That was the buy four, get a $6 extra buck deal. And one of the Wet n Wild um, lipstick because we did receive a $3 off mystery offer. So that mystery offer as actually printed when I went to scan my card, but then the rest of my coupons did not print. So this is what I did. I bought three of the Pantene for $15, one of the Aussie Moist for $4.79. So the Aussie Curl were out of stock, but they did increase the price of that at my store. It used to be $4.19, they increased it to $4.49. So they have been increasing the prices at my CVS. So at that particular store. One of the Wet n Wild Lipstick for $2.99 and one of the CVS Health Heat Patch, which is the freebie for $1.99. Total came to $24.77. I used a 4 off 14 Pantene CRT that printed last week, so I held on to it because it has not expired yet. And two, a $2 off Pantene Aussie Herbal Essences by Renew CRT, $2 off Aussie Hair Care CRT. So these are the CRTs that I held on to. And it was still good. It was still good till this week. One dollar off Pantene shampoo or conditioner app only coupon. Three dollar off Physicians Formula or Wet n Wild mystery offer. So that took off two ninety nine only because CVS does not give overage, and so that's why the coupon adjusted down. And the freebie that was clipped from the app, which is the free CVS Health Heat Patch, so that took off $1.99. And the five off three Pantene manufacturer digital coupon. Total coupons was $18.98. I paid $5.79 plus tax. So I did use $6 in extra bucks. 
So in a receipt, the last two lines under the coupon, you can see it's a $3 off and a $2.79. So the, one of the extra bucks did adjust down because I used two $3 off um, extra bucks. So that's why in a receipt, subtotal is $0 and I just paid taxes. And I did get back $6 in extra bucks for the Pantene or Aussie deal because when you buy four, you get a $6 extra buck and it's a limit of $6. So it made everything free. So this is just an enlarged version of the receipt that I showed you in transaction one, if you want to clearly look at everything. So this was my second transaction. I could not print out the 3 off 12 oral care CRT that I have. So I just did this transaction without CRTs and it was still a good deal because it was still a freebie. And you know, my printer didn't work so I couldn't even print out the printable from Colgate.com. So this was transaction two. So I bought four of the Colgate Total Advanced toothpaste for $13.96. I used a 5 of 3 Colgate Advanced toothpaste digital, so total coupons of $5. I paid $8.96 plus tax. I did use $8 in extra bucks, so that's why on a receipt, it says $0.98 cents plus tax. So the last two lines, the $6 and the $2 off, those were the extra bucks that I used. So I used a $6 extra buck and a $2 extra buck. So that's why it's a total of $8 in extra bucks that I used. So I got back $9 in extra bucks for the deal, making everything free. So this is just an enlarged version of the receipt of my second transaction if you want to clearly look at everything. Transaction three. So these were not like really good items or really cheap items because the Scott, they were not on sale, but the Gain and the Tie Pods, they were on sale. So this was not like the best transaction to do, but I really want paper products because I've been stocking up on paper products at Walgreens, Dollar General, and CVS. So if I could get, you know, if I have extra money, like if I, if, a transaction was a money maker I would try to save that and then try to save it for things that I need like paper products so for this transaction I just bought something that I wanted and that I needed so this was transaction three. I bought the Game Flings for four ninety four, one of the Tide Pods for four ninety four, one of the Scott one thousand. So these were not on sale, so that's why they're twelve ninety nine, and one of the Scott towels for nine ninety nine. Again, this was not on sale. So total came to thirty two eighty six. So this was the spin ten get a ten dollar extra buck deal. I used a one dollar off Tide Pods app only coupon again. I had CRTs, but I could not print them out, so that's why I had to do it without CRTs. $2 off Game Flames Digital, $2 off Tide Pods Digital, $2 off Scott Bath Tissue Digital, and $2 off Scott Towels Digital. So these manufactured digital coupons were pretty high value coupons because we normally get like a dollar off for the Game Flames and a dollar off for the Scott products. So this time it's an extra dollar off. So total coupons is $9. I paid $23.86 plus tax. So I did use $23 in extra bucks. So that's why on every receipt it says $0.86 cents plus tax. I did get back a $10 extra buck making everything $13.86 for all of these. So this is just an enlarged version of the receipt. So you can see the last three lines, this was $23 in extra bucks. So the $10, the $9, and the $4, those were extra bucks that I used. So this is the final cost breakdown. Total before coupons, so for transaction one through three, I added all of them up, it was $71.59. Total coupons that I used was $32.98. Total after coupons was $38.61, and I got back $28 in extra bucks. So I did hit beauty from my account because um, the beauty total was $22.78. So from my first transaction, I had the three Pantene, the Aussie, and a Wet n Wild lipstick. So that total up to $22.78, and I only needed $20.94 to hit beauty to get my $3 extra bucks for hitting $30 in beauty, and that will credit to my account within two days. So that's why 
um, I got the extra $3 extra buck for transaction 1. So that's why I got back $28 in extra bucks. So the final cost is $10.61 for 13 items. And I'm not counting the free item, which is the heat patch. So if I counted the heat item, it will be 14 items. So I'm not counting it because that, that is an item that everyone got for free. So only counting the 13 items, it will be $0.82 cents per item. So it's not a bad deal especially got that I got the paper products that are not on sale. So I think it's still a pretty good haul. There are more CVS deals breakdown and deals update for this week, which is July 12th to July 18th, 2020. And it will be linked in the comments and on the end screen. And that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.